Hi! Welcome to Plus Alpha Designs. This video is a continuation to the 8-cylinder radial engine model that I posted previously. I was informed after designing the model, that practical radial engines require an odd number of cylinders. As a correction, I redesigned the cylinder block, and a couple of other parts to make this 7-cylinder version. If you have already built the 8-cylinder version, you can make this correction with a few additional parts. In this video, I will make the 7-cylinder version from scratch. Let's go! Here are the parts that you will need. You will need a cylinder block, handle, pin, rotor, 7 pistons, hub top, hub bottom, and 6 rods. I will print these parts in 4 batches, corresponding to the different colors I used. For all parts, I used my default print setting of 0.2mm layer height and 15% infill, but individual settings may vary depending on the particular printer used. First is the cylinder block. This is redesigned to have 7 cylinders instead of 8. This print took me about 5 hours. Next is the pistons. This part is identical to the 8 cylinder version, but note that only 7 of these is required. I added supports for the floating links for the connecting rods. Next is a set consisting of rotor, pin, and handle. All of these parts are compatible with the 8 cylinder version. Last is a set consisting of 6 rods, hub top, and hub bottom. Note that the rod is identical to the 8 cylinder version, but only 6 is required. The hub top and hub bottom is redesigned so that only 6 other connecting rods mate to the hub, instead of 7. I have added supports for the hub bottom as the connecting link is floating. Let's get printing. Before assembly, you should make sure that the pistons move smoothly inside the cylinders. Also, you should make sure that the rod moves smoothly when attached on the hub. I will assemble the parts in the same order as I did in the 8 cylinder model. First, insert the pin into the rotor. And set it inside the cylinder housing. Then attach the handle on the reverse side. Now take the hub bottom, and attach one of the pistons. Make sure that the link is smooth. Slide the piston through the cylinder. And turn the hub so that the hub attaches to the rotor. Now you have one piston moving. Assemble the remaining six pistons. Attach the piston onto the rod. Also, make sure that the link is nice and smooth. Slide the piston through the cylinder.
and attach the rod onto the hub. Make sure that you don't connect the rod onto the wrong pin. Finally, attach the hub top to the hub bottom. This completes the assembly. I hope you found this video interesting. If you want to modify your 8-cylinder radial engine model, or want to make the 7-cylinder model from scratch, the files can be downloaded from the link in the description below. Thank you for watching and see you next time.